Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I'm very excited because I have my sister Frida with me. And any of you that know Frida know that she is quite talented and she's discovered an amazing new craft. It's, uh, what would, I guess, a Mod Podge fabric bowl. But the great thing is that this is made out of like recycled fabric. So, old clothes and, and right. so forth. Yeah, so, old t shirts. So, she's in fact used an old t-shirt of mine. This is from when I was in high school. We were in the playoffs and uh, that was my nickname back then. So you can probably tell I was not the best of hockey players. But these are really cool and you could use them, you could put stuff in them like... Mm -hmm. Change, anything like that. You couldn't eat out of them because they are fabric and Mod Podge, but like you couldn't put liquid in them. But they'd be great for like maybe coins. dried flowers or coins yeah, sure. or, or something like that. Huh? Mm -hmm. They're yeah. really kind of fun and she is like way into them. I love making them. <laughs> so what you're going to need for this project is a couple things, right? Mm -hmm. You definitely need Mod Podge, right? Mod Podge is number one and you don't want to skimp on that. You want to literally use Mod Podge. Okay, so you need to make sure that you have Mod Podge. You're going to need a good brush, mm -hmm. right? Um, you're going to want a Sharpie pen. Um, you're going to need a bowl. Mm -hmm. And you can use whatever size bowl that you have, right? I mean, it can be a small bowl, big bowl, whatever. Anything you want to use. Okay. Whatever you, can... you want your bowl shape to be. Like, this is a different shape. Whatever, Got it. What, yeah, whatever your shape. So, this one you didn't use a round bowl. You used more of a kind right. of tall, skinny bottomed bowl. Right. Okay, great. All right, and so then you're going to need some fabric, right? You're right, old t-shirt. This is an old t-shirt she's old got. Old skirt, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, what is this? This is this is the that Glad Press and Seal stuff, and you want to use either Saran Wrap or Press and Seal, something to like cover your bowl so that it's going to not get damaged, and so that when you um, pull your T-shirt off, like when you pull your bowl form off, it will like leave the bowl, it, like it's creating a resist. Got it, got it. So this is a this is a good product to use, though. Yeah, I really like this one because it sticks to the bowl itself. Like the Saran wrap, you have to stick to itself. And I like having the um, inner part like open to hold on to it. With Saran wrap, you have to cover the whole thing to make it stay. Got it. Okay, great. So. What, why don't you show us what you did there? You've, you've covered, how did you cover that? You just covered the entire thing and tucked right, it Right, I just ripped off some press and seal and covered the bowl this way and it like sticks to itself. Oh, and that, great. That, that's why I like this. Okay, perfect. And you didn't have to cut it or anything? Nope, just ripped, ripped a piece off. It's like maybe a foot and a half square. Okay, great. Now, fabric. How do you, how do you make your fabric? How so do you have, know what to do here? Okay, so we just have this old t -shirt? crappy t-shirt. So um, I've actually, I'm going to use a skirt to show you the tutorial, mm -hmm. but just to show you how to cut your fabric, you're going to just lay the t-shirt on top mm -hmm. of the bowl and just... Uh, you want me to hold it for you? Sure. That'd be good. Okay, so if I hold it like this, so you're, you're trying to get it outside. Right. Are you right. trying to go tight up against or are you trying I'm to get it I'm giving it a little extra because you can trim it later. So Got I'm it. just using the permanent marker to just sort of like mark around. You can sort of see... Okay, so see, if you can see there, so she's got kind of a circle made now, and then you would just cut around. And then I would just cut it out. But we're going to actually use something We're going to jump ahead. Colorful. Yeah, I have this old skirt that I've cut apart. So you can see that I've already cut it into the circle form, and it mm -hmm. fits nicely around the bowl. Perfect. So I'm also going to jump ahead and already have a bowl. Covered. That is covered. That is nicely and smart of you. So then what we're going to do is put Mod Podge all over the side of the fabric that is going to be the inside of the bowl. So the inside of the bowl gets the Mod Podge. Now we should tell you, cover your workstation because basically what Mod Podge is, is like a very fancy version of glue and water, right? It's got some other stuff in it. It has other stuff in it that makes it just so much better. And it's but, yeah. very thick. It's a really thick stuff. But because of that, see how she's getting it all over the place? my mom would kill us if we were doing this on her kitchen table. Right. And so what you really want to do is you want to make sure that you've got your whole workstation, your whole work area covered. And you could use a garbage bag or a tarp or something, but you want to make sure that whatever it is, it's not going to get your table all messed up. Okay, so I see you're covering this entire thing. Yes with the Mod Podge. And you're not skimping here, I'm noticing. I really love to layer it on there, really just get it on. And, and you don't this wanna is, water this down okay. either. You really so this just is wanna. Straight out of, the, out of the jar. Yes. Right, okay, so straight out of the jar, Mod Podge. Don't water it down, put it on thick. <laughs> layer it on thick. So okay. then you're gonna take your bowl, turn it over, and then you just wanna drape this fabric on and sort of get it down tight. And now you're gonna do the same thing 
that you just did on the inside to the outside. Now, does it matter that there's these little kind of seams? Well, as I cover this outside, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is make sure that I get it up under the seams. Oh, okay. And like really sort of just glue it all down together. And you're just like, once again, covering everything. Covering everything. And I really like to use like a nice brush for this because if you have like a cheapy dollar store style brush, the bristles come off. Oh, so then you end awful. up with like a hairy bowl. Yeah, just don't skimp on the brush. Like get yourself a nice uh, brush. And now is that what you meant about being able to pick it up and being able exactly. to Exactly. Like if you had saran wrap on this, like you wouldn't be able to manipulate the Right, bowl because as your well. fingers wouldn't be able to go in because you'd have right. it wrapped across the top. Right. So now I notice also that, that you're making sure that you get your fingers coated as well. <laughs> I like to be as messy as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a messy project. It's messy and it's you need to I like to do this project in the backyard ah. because Mod Podge does have an odor. Oh okay. So I like to do it's it not in a, a well. It's not a bad odor though. though. It's not a bad odor. It's, it's, it's not bad, but well, would you, it smells like a, a glue, right? Don't you think it smells like glue? I mean, it's kind of it's, it's a little of a, it's a little bit much if you have your whole house smelling. Well, if you do true. like all of these, if you do a lot of them at once, like one isn't probably going to do right. you in. So anyway, I've got that really, 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 really covered. Okay, now what do you do with it once you're at this stage? I sit it on a table and don't touch it for 24 hours. Okay, so you're going to need to leave this in a, in its own area where it can sit and dry. For so 24 want, hours. So we want to leave it in kind of like a, just a room temperature area where it's not going to get wet or anything like that. Right. And it takes about 24 hours to dry? It does take 24 hours. Now I mistakenly, when I first tried doing this project, it, it does take a lot of Mod Podge, so I did try to skimp a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, use less. And I found that it takes a lot more time to dry when you add water to oh, it. Oh, when so, you water it down. Yeah, so when you do uh, do it just straight up, it takes it just overnight, Okay. 24 hours. So 24 hours later, then you end up with this. So, so now what do you do? Now you want to remove this outer. piece of outer fabric from the bowl. And okay. as you can see, it's stuck. It's sort of stuck in there. Right. So this is where this cling wrap stuff is so awesome. Okay. Because you're just going to pull that away. Mm -hmm. And then your bowl oh. will nicely pop out. Oh, that's cool. Oh, like look that. at that. That's great. And now we're just going to take this press and seal out. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's so cool. And there is your bowl. And it holds its shape. It is totally holding its shape. It now, these are a little flexible. You look really good in that. <laughs> I want to have that too. <laughs> so now you have all this like extra. Yes. So what are, you gonna do? what are you going to do with that extra? I'm just going to super simply, easily trim it off. Okay, so you're just going to use a pair of scissors and cut around. Yep. Now, and this is where, like I see on this one, you kind of went a little wonka do and gave mm -hmm. it a little bit of a really cool kind of in and out feel. You, I love how you did this with my Henderson t-shirt. This is my old high school, everybody. Memorialized. Forever. Forever. <laughs> forever. Put your two cents in it. <laughs> Literally. So there we go. Okay, cool. So now uh, you can finish this any way you want. Like so you could do like put glitter all over the outside. Like you've or, done here? Yeah. Or I thought maybe um, I could show you putting a little bit of bias tape. Sure. What's bias tape? So bias tape you just get at your fabric store and it's something that you'd like sew. It's ready to go to be sewn like around a cuff uh, right. or so something. It, so it actually is fabric that opens up and has two sides to it. Mm -hmm so that you can actually sandwich your art project in between it. Yes. I got it. And then you And can... then it'll just give it a nice clean finish. Mm -hmm. And you could hot, would you hot glue that on? Yeah, I would just apply you this wouldn't with hot glue. You wouldn't modge podge it. You can afterwards, but I, I, I would probably hot glue. So why don't you show those? Okay. So I did modge podge after hot gluing. So this was, this was bias tape. That's that bias tape. Okay, so she's used the bias tape and you can see she's put that around the outside. And then you came back and Mod Podged more on this, I right? did. And you can feel the difference. Like this has one layer of Mod Podge and this has several afterwards. Feel how hard that ends up getting. So, so once you've sort of 
embellished it the way you want to. Do you come back and add like other layers of Mod Podge? I have on some, yeah. And I've actually left them at different stages so that you can see that. But you can sort of get the general idea of like hot glue and the bias tape on this. But like this one has one layer of Mod Podge and you can sort of see that it's kind of flexible. Mm -hmm. But this one has several. Got it. And it is definitely more, it's more rigid. It's stronger. And this one has like, I think I tried about five on it, and this one's barely moving. Now, so one question that I have for you is about, so this one, you can clearly see the inside is, is gorgeous because mm -hmm. of the fabric. Now, the outside is a little bit, you know, duller, mm -hmm. and, and you've got a seam. Would you maybe come back and put another layer of, of like fabric and Mod Podge over it? Would you could do, a, yeah, you could totally do anything. You could put like magazines, you could cut out pictures from a magazine or use, you could use like um, pieces of tissue and like Mod Podge. Or, another, or another piece of fabric? You could do another piece of fabric. If you were going to do that, I would uh, cover the bowl again mm -hmm. and, and, and do that while it was on the bowl form. Right, because what I was thinking is, if you hand the bowl form, what I was just thinking is in, if you did that and yeah. put it, but put it with the this side up on this side, then mm -hmm. you would have a double-sided bowl, right? Definitely, yes. Got it, got it, got Definitely. it, got it. Well, there you have it. Anything else that you need to tell us about making this fabulous bowl? Other no, than other than like, cool? you, well, you can experiment. This is many pieces. Like, this is exactly what you were just talking about. This is a couple of old, like, bathing suits cut up on the inside. Oh, cool. And then, like, this is capped off with yet another piece of fabric. And the same In thing fact, with this I is like... I think that's your bathing suit from seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no longer fits. This, you know, the same sort of thing. This is like straps of something. Like you can just really go wild with any kind of fabric. So basically this is a great, great recycle craft, yeah, right? Yeah, recycle so craft. So really the only thing you need is Mod Podge. Mod Podge is, is the key. For okay. <laughs> <laughs> for more things that need Mod Podge, and not, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. And I promise you, more ideas coming from Frida. <laughs>